Welcome back to the vlog today with Elder Schofield and Elder Hadi Sutanto, the best. <laughs> today was a pretty good week. We uh, last week we went to Japara and we went to the beach, but it was just okay. We didn't get permission to ride the boat to this super cool island, but it was good enough. So, right, you good, sir? It must be other. And then the bank amalin pom di situ. Okay. Oh yeah, itu jadi buktinya. Okay, okay. Sounds good. Kita bisa menjelaskan ya. Yeah. Okay. So, yesterday we were in the house. And Elder Hadi saw a rat. What yeah. is Mouse, mouse. Oh yeah. Terus? Terus? Apa ini? Anda lihat terus apa? Oh. When I see mouse. The mouse. The mouse. Aduh buset, gue sakit nih. Kau When I see the mouse. Uh, I call, I call my district to kill, apa? Kill it. Yes. Kill it. Kill it. Kill it. Yes. And then, and, and then we all wore batik, and we killed the mouse. Yes, that's right. Yes. We started. We captured it in the rice cooker. Oh, by gunya mana? And then it's right here. Oh yeah. Then we put cardboard on. So the, the rice cooker, we trapped it. Then slid the cardboard under, flipped it over, and then other Lynchum lit the frick on fire. Frick on fire! <laughs> Do you want to light it up? Sure. Yeah. Fun. Where you want it? Wherever is not dangerous. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> the main killer. Is the main killer. Yes. He is the main killer. I am the man killer. You look like the man. <laughs> And itu hasilnya tikus. Oh, and the mouse is right there. We thought we threw it into the street, but it didn't get thrown into the street. And that name, tikus Kevin Bakar. His name is Kevin. No. Tikus Bakar. Grilled. Mouse. Yeah. Excellent. What else do you want to talk about? About sick. Oh, okay. <laughs> You're sick today. Yes. Okay. And one one house, one house in here. Uh, sakit semua. Yes. Here. We are all sick right now. <laughs> but other than us being sick, it was still an awesome week. Uh, Yesterday, there was a baptism. So that was pretty cool. The sisters investigators got baptized. And then... Um, oh, on Tuesday, the zone leaders came and we went on a split. And I'm eating lunch with the zone. They were eating lunch at Eastman. We're sitting there. And then this dude calls. And I see the, I look at the phone and I'm like, what is, like, I don't know this number. The, so I answer it. I answer it. And then this dude's like, hey, is this Elder Scope? Like, yeah, this is Elder Scope. Yeah, um, what, can we, like, when can we meet so I can get that Bible? Like, 
how about one or two? Like, does that sound good? He's like, two sounds good. I'm going to go pick up my, I'm dropping my daughter off at the mall. I'm like, oh, okay, excellent. We can just meet at the church. It's on the back of the mall. He's like, okay, okay. We'll see you at two. Like, like sweet. Now we don't have to go contact for four hours. We have to contact for less than that because that dude made an appointment with us. It was like right in the middle of this huge block of time that we had to fill. Then we're like, okay. So we went to the mall and we contacted for a little bit before the appointment. Then we would come back to meet this dude. <coughs> and he was like, his name's Pak Krishna. He's so freaking cool. We taught him the restoration. It was like, it was awesome. He's just like, I've, he's a, He's a preacher for these other churches. He's like, I see all these other preachers. They just like preach just for money and like they don't care about anything. And then he's like, sees people in the congregation see that and like they get lost and then they like leave. And he's seen like one of some of his friends like go and become Muslim and all this stuff. And he's like just super sad about it. He's like, where's the truth? Like I don't know what's true anymore. Like what? What do I believe? And we taught him the restoration, he was just like loving it. And we sang, where can I turn for peace with him? He was just, just like, was loving it. We taught him the Book of Mormon and it just, it was awesome. And then he's like, okay, I'm gonna read this stuff. Like he'd already learned a, a bit about our church online on the website. And then he's like, and then he's, so it was probably the best First lesson of all time, of all the first lessons I've taught, it was probably the best one. I was with Elder Hansen, and yeah, he said the same thing. Best first lesson of all time, was so dope. Just like this super prepared man, he's just like, he was loving it all. He was sweet, and then even better, we, me and Elder Lynch met him later in the week. We first met him on Tuesday, and then we met him again on Friday. And he brought his wife, and we taught him, we were like following up the Book of Mormon. We are like, oh, have you read yet? And he's like, yeah, yeah, I've read, like, the in order, I've only read to First Nephi 18, but like those little chapter summaries at the beginning, yeah, I've read, I read every single one of those until the end. Yeah, I really agree with the Book of Mormon, and now I really understand the Godhead and like all this stuff, he just is like, it was so cool. And we're like, oh, okay, awesome. Well, so we like explain more. We had a member come. We had my favorite member who sells ice cream, Brother Hawkeye, come. And he used to be a, a preacher too. And he was like bearing his testimony about like how in the, our church no one receives money and stuff. And it's like a huge part of his testimony, which is why we brought him because Pat Krishna was like feeling sad about how all the other preachers just care about money. So it was super good that we brought him. And then we, and then so eventually we ended up giving the baptismal commitment to this dude. And he's just like, yeah, me and my wife are ready to get baptized whenever. I'm like, oh, okay. Well, let's just set a date for in like four weeks, even though you're ready to get baptized right now. And then we, we taught him the word of wisdom. And we're like, so does this make any, do you have any questions about this? And he's like, no, it makes sense. Yeah, and I'm like, well, which ones do you not follow already? And the only one he had was tea. It's like, okay, so you stop drinking tea today? He's like, yeah, I'll stop. Then we asked his wife, and his wife's like, yeah. Okay, that's awesome. You're crazy prepared. And then he came to church on Sunday, too. And he stayed for all three hours. It was so dope. He introduces himself in priesthood, and Bishop's like, oh, the, can you, too? him and then this other dude, oh, he was a miracle too. We met this other dude at our inactive store. It's his, our, one of our inactive members' best friends. And this inactive member hasn't come to church in like 10 years. We met him, we invited him to church and he said he'd come. This dude lived in America for like 14 years. And then we like went back later and made sure that our inactive invited him again and we invited him as well. And then he came to church and our inactive member who I had to come to church in like 10 years, came yesterday, it was so wild. He's so awesome. 
he's such a funny member. He loves like Marvel and stuff. Oh, he's, a, he's a funny dude. But so there's that. So that dude came. So the bishop was like, "Can you introduce yourself? And can you introduce the two of our investigators that are first time came to church?" And then he, and then he's like, "So our Pat Krishna stands up and he says his like full name. Indonesians have like crazy long names, like." Their names are like three or four names and they're just like super long. So when you call, like what you actually call them sometimes isn't even part of their name. It's just, yeah. I have no idea what people's full names are except for the girl that got baptized yesterday because I had to memorize it. It was crazy long. But, so the, so he stands up and introduces himself and he's like, yeah, I, I am and says his like whole name, it's like crazy long. He's like, I used to be a preacher at this church, this one, this one, this one. He lists like five churches that he owned. And he's like, yeah, no, I'm really happy to be here. I met with Elder Schofield and Elder Hansen earlier this week and then Elder Schofield and Elder Lindstrom also. And now this is my first time coming to church. And uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited to be here. I, I'm, I've really liked it so far, and I'm like, that's super dope. Just like tell everyone all the churches you used to own. What a cool dude! It was so wild, and he. So the way he found out about us was there's this media referral that referred herself that me and Elder Mare tried contacting, but we never got a hold of. But then like I'd still text her every once in a while. And sometimes she texts back and she's like super prepared to like she wants to know what the truth is but she referred him to us and so that's how he knew my name which is pretty wild but then the, but then this media referral claims that she's going to come to church next week as well so we'll see but this pop krishna dude wow he's dope he's super cool so yeah, that's the cool thing that happened this week, along with the sister's baptism. I got to baptize Nona, which was pretty sweet. So that was super cool. And then I think, I don't know if there's anything else I want to talk about. This video is pretty long as well. Maybe Elder Hadi has something else to say. It's super bright out here. It's just crazy bright. Elder Hadi, no. do you want to say anything? Yeah. Is it ada? Yes. And I will, <laughs> I will give you some quotes. Is freak on fire. Wait, tell them what Yudi said to Elder Lindstrom. Oh, we we have. Uh, some people, wait, some, we have teach student in student. English class. Yes. And his name, uh, Yudis. Uh. And Yudis, I think the best. Yes. And then, uh, Yudis said for Elder Lindstrom, what? I'll give you all my money. I'll give you all, all my, my all my have. All my have, and then I will give, give you, you all, all my love. love. <laughs> Sounds good. Doesn't work. Doesn't work. <laughs> so gay. <laughs> yes, you just said that. <laughs> you just is gay. Yeah, it that's uh, a discovered sibling. You just no, it's your sibling. <laughs> <laughs> But Yudis has a BMW. Yeah. Yes. Yeah. But it doesn't work. It doesn't work. Yeah. Yes. It doesn't work. It doesn't work. Yeah. Yes, he is still single. He's an interesting man. Well, that's it for the vlog. Yes. See you next week. See you next week. See ya.